Hi, I'm Dave and welcome to the Bio Gear Studio. Founded in 2008 and now located in Springwood, Brisbane, this is where the magic happens. All our custom bags and packs begin their life here and are crafted by a dedicated team of five. We used to be a one-man band based in a spare bedroom, however industrial sewing machines take up a lot of room and we fast outgrew that space. Now we're able to not only fit all our machines, but also craft customised bags to your needs and tastes. So right now, we're actually making a custom bullpup backpack. I'd love to share with you little insights into our machines, our designs, and the people who craft these hardwearing bags for you. So first thing we do is cut the raw materials into the required pattern pieces. This includes cutting the webbing, the external fabric, the internal fabric, as well as foam, mesh, and the shoulder straps. Unfortunately, we missed videoing this step, but thankfully, you can actually half see Simon in the top right cutting out the bullpups. One thing we did catch, however, was the bulk cutting process of the black base. We use black as a base colour as it shows the least amount of dirt and grime. First step is to lay the fabric using a spreader, which is about 25mm tall. Next, we lay a sheet of paper on top called the marker, which gives us the required cutting lines. Next, we staple down the marker, which also holds the layer of fabric together. And finally, the cutting process begins using our 8 inch straight blade knife. While Simon is cutting, I begin the process of creating the shoulder straps. These are also cut in bulk and include the webbing, the top layer of fabric and the shoulder strap foam which we have previously laminated to a 500 denier face fabric. This face fabric is lighter than the rest of the bullpup which means it isn't as abrasive on your clothes but will last an incredibly long time. In this step right now, I am stitching down the webbing onto the top layer. I'm also stitching a D-ring from which you can hang keys or other quick access items. Meanwhile, Jean is on our lightweight needle feed machine, which is incredibly fast and accurate. In this step, Jean is sewing the mesh onto the front lining. This creates the two pleated pockets, perfect for storing and organising all your smaller items. Plus, being mesh, it is incredibly easy to see what is inside the pockets. I should also point out that the zippers being used on all our bags, including the inside mesh pockets, are YKK brand. These come with a reputation of being smooth, reliable and incredibly long lasting. Speaking of zips, on our straight stitch machi machine, Felissa is flying through the zip borders. This becomes the main opening to the bullpup. In this step, Felissa is creating a zip flap which protects the zip from dust, dirt and grime. The zip being used is also YKK and is a very beefy number 10. We have not had a single return or fail of this zip to date. At a later step, we also add two zipper pulls which means you, completely, you can completely lay the bullpup flat and access it suitcase style, or only open it slightly for a top access pack. You could also just unzip one side if you wanted to get something from the bottom of your bag but didn't want to rummage around or completely open it up. Essentially, two zipper pulls give you the most versatility to access. Jean has finished the mesh front pockets and is now on our walking foot machine, joining the shoulder straps that I created earlier to the laminated foam blanks. I am standing up and am on the binding machine. Right now, I am binding the shoulder straps that Jean literally just finished. In front of me is Felissa, who is still sewing the zip borders. Yes, it's a very long process. Oh, and Simon is also sitting in front of that bar tucker eating an apple. He literally never stops eating. And that black Labrador is called Helen. She is our official customer liquor and registered guide dog brood. She forms part of our giving back to the community and has had two litters of pups today. Just a quick close up of the binding process. This is our cylinder arm machine. The better machine sits above the tabletop, which means you can really throw a bag around, giving a good, clean result on the binding. Right now, however, I'm still binding the edges of the shoulder straps, which hides the raw edges of fabric and foam. This also results in a shoulder strap edge, which won't rub your neck or annoy you unnecessarily. And speaking of comfort, the shoulder straps are tapered and contoured so they fit around your body and won't rub or get in the way. Bree is on our bar tacker, flying through the creation of the front clipping webbing. These stitches are incredibly strong and allow you to attach pouches or tie things onto your bag. They can also add a touch of colour, um, giving a little bit of a contrast between the webbing or the fabric. So I'm Dave from Bio Gear, and if you're looking for a hard-wearing, long-lasting bag designed right and made right here in Australia, which is touched by these machines and caressed by our, uh, our team and lovingly turned into a bag for you, um, head to biogear.com.au. Cheers.